to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Shabarakoto Are you praying? Speak to the Lord. Jesus, I have come tonight. Visit me. Hallelujah. 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 Every time the word of God is about to come, it is important not just that we listen but our hearts be prepared to receive are we together we have to trust God for grace this flesh can be so distracting you can sit down and you find out that you're just looking but you're not receiving anything you need grace to coordinate your spirit to hear there's a lot of carelessness that can happen to us as the Word of God comes that you are looking at me doesn't mean you are receiving anything that you are nodding you may even be writing it doesn't mean you are receiving i like you to say i'm a receiver pray i'm a receiver i open my spirit he says but as many as received him meaning not everybody has the capacity to receive hallelujah lord give us understanding we cry for the spirit of understanding in jesus name god bless you please be seated i welcome everyone thank you so much those outside we bless and honor you those online thank you so much distance is no barrier we're on a series a faith series and um we'll take off from there sorry about all of the challenges the delay the sound i really apologize on behalf of all the relevant departments we're committed to excellence it's one of our core values so please do understand with us when we do not deliver optimally praise the lord understanding faith part two understanding faith part two last week we began to discuss on the integrity of god's word just as a foundation to help us understand the concept of faith and um, let me just challenge us up front you know i was thinking about this uh, seriously today and wondering how many people know nothing about faith but will act as though they are generals of faith it's very arrogant to make boastful statements about a dimension that has not produced notable and consistent results in the life of a believer Praise the Lord. Most people consider faith to be a very basic teaching that can be summarized in two hours. <laughs> One of the things that I fear personally is holding on to something that I think is true only for me to find out after wasting my time for decades that what I have held and thought was light was never light are we together the bible says that we be careful less what we call light be darkness you can hold on to something and be so convinced about its reality only to find out after decades of frustration that is it, it does not add up spiritually praise the lord and so as we examine the subject of faith please i want you to be determined to understand this thing once and for all hallelujah praise the lord 
so we're discussing tonight on the dynamics of faith last week we um by the way if you've not gotten last week's teaching please do get it so that we can follow on together we began to discuss how that um faith is not a movement faith is not a doctrine faith is not a choice you don't choose and say i'm a man of faith no faith is a system that was designed for believers to live by and to walk through we examined last week how that um the bible had a lot of things to say about faith habakkuk 2 verse 4 we looked at that scripture the b part how that he said the just shall live by his faith the just shall live by his faith so in this kingdom we live both in terms of the longevity of our lives and the quality of the life is a function of faith hallelujah several things in scripture in the ministry of jesus we see him telling people that the reality they desired was according to their faith not according to his ability according to their faith and um, we spoke a bit about the word of god i shared with us a few things about the word of god and some of the confusion that has surrounded the subject of the word of god and how that many people indoctrinate themselves religiously and never grow in the knowledge of the word i said to us last week how that god's ultimate desire is not for us to have this in our brains god's ultimate desire is that we become an expression of this we become the pages of scripture in reality the apostle calls it living epistles we become expressions of everything the bible is saying praise the lord so that if i forgot my bible at home um i will not have to weep because my life is an expression of the same i can walk to someone and use my life to read john 14 verse 12 for instance i can walk up to someone and read hebrews 11 from my life my life became a it, it, it um, becomes a manifestation of this scripture so that the people can now see that the word has become flesh and then is able to dwell among men but once we once we we take this bible and wrongly indoctrinate ourselves and think that the power is just in the cramming of scripture now don't get me wrong it is important but the power is not in the cramming of scripture john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and you believe you are powerful just because there is memory of scripture no it says ye search the scriptures for in them ye think you will find life and you will not come to me the scriptures testified of the christ the living logos and now he had come they had all the words the scriptures but they did not receive him so the end of all our bible studies and our study of god's word is to come to a point where we can have an encounter with the word of god the word of god um, is not just the speakings of god it's not just the writings of god the word is logos logos comes from the word thoughts meaning the intentions of a man so when we say that you have received the word of god that means you have submitted that your life becomes an expression of god's idea god's intention a word carrying believer is not a, mem a memory verse crimer. A word carrying believer is one who has subjected himself under the influence of the word. Praise the Lord. And we shared a few other things that I think are worth listening to again and again. Um, tonight we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith. We are going to be looking at the operation. How does it work? Last week we saw what faith was. I will still define it and um it never tires me to help people understand the dynamics of faith let's define faith please hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 gives us a general definition it says now faith is the substance the tangibility of things that are hoped for and then the evidence of the things that are not yet seen so the apostle is giving us his definition of faith that faith is the substance of anything that we expect and the tangibility the proof that what we have not obtained yet um, is within reach and would eventually come to us 
but let's write a few definitions of faith that I think will really help us I'll give us three number one faith is sharing responsibilities with God faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome faith is sharing responsibilities with God you can put in bracket partnership with God faith is sharing responsibilities with God and the basis for that participation is the Word of God in the light of his word faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome the second definition of faith faith is the name given to the action that we take faith is the name pay attention to this very definition faith is the name given to the action underline action the action that we take based on our conviction and understanding of god's word faith is the name given to the action that we take not belief action the action that we take based on our understanding and conviction of god's word these are very interesting words we are going to be looking at tonight i'm taking it slowly and i'll be as simple as possible i really want us to understand it faith is the name given to the action action praise God so if there is no action there is no faith you must understand this whenever there is no action there is no faith in fact put it this way whenever there is no action there is no persuasion there is no conviction your response is to the extent to which you are convinced convicted persuaded The way men walk on earth is such that they only act in line with their convictions. They may claim to agree that they believe a thing, but their actions are only tilting towards the direction of their convictions. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me use this gentleman. Come, please. Now, watch this. If... I tell this gentleman please look up if I tell this gentleman that seat belongs to you that is a seat for you you can go and sit down anytime you want to now please look up look up everyone I want to have your attention if I tell this gentleman this seat belongs to you it was prepared for you right and um, prepared by me this is my gift to you if this gentleman looks at me and says apostle you can't imagine how grateful I am are we together now and I expect him to prove that he believes that I'm not joking by taking a step are we together it is his walking down to go and sit down are we together now now if he sits on this seat and he breaks and the seat breaks who is to blame are we together so if the seat cannot support his weight then he can safely assume that I'm an irresponsible person. But not until he has taken action. Are we together? So the name of that action is faith. Not the name of his believing. His believing is not faith. His believing is part of the process that leads to faith. I think this is where believers are cheated. We claim we believe God. But then our lives do not show that we believe him. We claim we don't believe the devil, but our lives show that we believe him very well. Are you seeing now? We can claim I don't believe Satan, God forbid, I rebuke you. But all the actions we take are testaments that we believe Satan, we believe his word, we believe his report. I'll give you an instance. Many people claim in the name of Jesus, recession does not come close to me. I mean, um, the Bible says this and that, the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord. 
all that that confession after ranting and rapping our daily lives show that we are living in fear in uncertainty that's faith you are taking in the negative you are you are agreeing with the devil by taking action are we together so faith is the name given i tell this gentleman this seat is for you and he says thank you sir and he takes a step now let me tell you how it works in the realm of the spirit pastor femi i want you to do something for me can you lift that chair up sorry we're acting a little drama lift it up so he doesn't see it okay now watch this believe there is a chair there go and sit down now i said it softly and it was easy for you to believe because you saw a chair but now in the realm of the spirit the chair is my word the chair is not an object the chair is my word so in the realm of the spirit whether it is my word or a physical chair is the same now if this guy is a believer what that means is whether his eye actually saw a physical chair or not my word is equivalent to that chair and he responds are we together so he comes and he stands and it is up to me to back it up now but this is what happens to many believers in the name of jesus i call for that chair and god says move and then you take a step and stand here and the devil uses scripture to say look wisdom is profitable to direct there is a difference between a chair and a floor this is the floor and then we stand here and say in the name of jesus who told you i, I mean i know it there's a chair there we are rapping and saying all kinds of things but the power is released at the point of action not just at the point of wishing sit down please are we together now faith right we're defining terms faith is the name given to the action we take based on our conviction and based on our persuasion of the word of god number three faith is obedience the third definition of faith faith in one word is obedience in two words complete obedience faith in one word is obedience two words complete obedience three words obedience and consistency Are we together now first john chapter 5 verse 4 the bible clearly tells us that our victory the quality of our lives the exploits that we will do please listen this has nothing to do with ministry being a man of god or a woman of god this is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life first john first john 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell even our faith that's if you and i are to be victorious in this kingdom we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trouser that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh. 
Why did they cut this trouser into two? Why is your leg in one hole and another? No, 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 no. It's not strange. Are we together? That's how faith should be. You should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith. That statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith. Are we together? This is the victory. My victory as a person, our victory as a ministry, your victory as an individual, as a father, as a husband, as a leader, is not just dependent on intellect. Please, I want you to believe this. Believe this. This is not some word of faith doctrine. This is the basis of a victorious life on earth. Even our faith. There are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith. Haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action. I want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith. Are we together? Let's look at an interesting scripture. I want us to examine a figure, Romans chapter 4. We are going to look at Abraham. Let's take a case study at the life of Abraham from verse 18. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18. Paul was speaking about the man Abraham and he represented a portrait of a man of faith. The Bible already told us to look up to Abraham. So we are looking up to him now. There are certain things. Verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith. Very powerful scripture. Very, very rich. Ready? It says, speaking about Abraham now. Listen. Who against hope? You can stop here. You can stop here alone and just discuss that. Meaning, it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle. Another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture is the presence of impossible situations. Are we together now? Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Never allow obstacles scare you. I think this is a revelation you should write. Never allow obstacles. Every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form. I don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with HIV who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed Kabbalah I like Abraham they didn't say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and said ah if I knew there was trouble I wouldn't have believed he said after being aware of the circumstance he still believed who against hope believed who against that report believed are, are we following who against that report madam you will never have a child we have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants now please let me tell you something it is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant 
the journey through believing God looks ugly, stupid, and childish until the results vindicate you. Make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing. The Bible says there is he that weepeth, bearing precious seed. When you hear the testimonies of people, we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle. But the manufacture process of that miracle, it took audacity and seriousness. Who against hope? Listen, if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time, you better get used to obstacles. Prophesy to your neighbor and say, get used to challenges. I didn't say call them, they are there. There are giants on every mountain. If you don't find a giant, you are in the valley. I guarantee you. Are we together? Only God knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime. You have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as the shining light. Shining brighter and brighter. Who against hope? Are you learning something? You know, listen, listen, listen. When I hear many people talk and they say, Apostle, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm even confused. Then I tell them, what did you expect? To believe when there is no challenge? It is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles. That is even when your faith comes alive. Please, I want you to... The start of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations. If you are going to be a leader here, let me tell you, there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles. You better learn the system to keep you under their feet. You see, as you grow in the knowledge of God, do you know what makes a man called a father of faith? He eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs. And while they are now announcing and saying, ah, do you know? If you don't produce one billion tomorrow, they are going to lock the church. He goes to bed. The obstacle knows that he's going to give way. There is a way you go to hell. There is nowhere to run to again. And you look at the challenge and you say, I'm coming out. And it must respect your voice. Let me tell you one way God makes us overcomers. Can I tell you? It's not very interesting. God puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them. This for somebody, I'm telling you, I'm enjoying what I'm saying. You can't believe it. So he puts you face to face. He does not put you to mock you. He puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit, man. Hallelujah. The presence of obstacles. Let's follow the dynamics. Believe. So the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle. The second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly, the man chose to believe. God spoke to him and this was a prophecy. So shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars. And Abraham believed. Believed when Sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted God faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of Abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of Abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing God and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation 
revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you must know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes 
are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come from miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now i think it was papa deboe that shared a story of somebody who i think he was crippled or so i can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because i mean he got a lot of uh, uh generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were working no more free lunch and he said he told papa Deboe, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says who are is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss Oh, can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing 
oh apostle you don't know is is 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please i don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake sometimes in a bid to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and say God, there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood i can't call it water i will be lying that's stupidity that's not faith this is blood i am i am shrinking it's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment i begin to study through the stories then i hear while the evening was come they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed now the holy spirit locks in there with you to hear and to be healed that means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles there is something you must hear to bring faith you act on that word a word that is spoken the hearing of faith you see now the word of god is growing in my spirit the holy ghost is infusing something in me the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles you are trusting to that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of God comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but I didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding define your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of god appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself You have a part to play you are god that's why we call the meeting koinonia it's a sharing together it's a participation if you understand this key you will know that you are to sit down and wait for god blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever Are you getting what I'm saying now? We're examining the dynamics of faith. So understanding. Now I have come to a point. Let me use finances. Now this gentleman was born from a background. For instance, poverty, causes, yokes, suffering. You know, all kinds of things. This person gets tired of his situation and prays and fast and say lord change my life now let me tell you what that fasting will do that fasting will enable the holy spirit lead him to a tape lead him to a book or lead him to the word because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the lord told me to give you twenty thousand that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so god encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you would die if it doesn't show up so twenty thousand is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things 
now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now i there is a role god has to play this is god here and his part is eternally settled don't confuse this so i now begin to search from the word of god there is he that scattereth and yet increases there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that scripture attacks my greed and i come to terms with the fact that i'm a greedy person i've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily walking by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20 matthew 17 15 to 20 matthew 17 15 to 20 15 to 20. Are you there? Now, watch this. This was the case of a lunatic, right? It says, Lord, have mercy on my son, the father of the boy now, for he is lunatic and so vexed, and oftentimes he followed into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed from him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why they did not get results verse 20 I want you to look at this scripture God gave me a powerful revelation I'm about to show you I've heard many preachers talk about it but God gave me a new light it says and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily I say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the Bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he is giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a monster seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed it's like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have 
a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains is God helping us tonight so revelation understanding produces conviction now the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief pistis belief belief conviction persuasion are we together belief is not the same thing as faith belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you are believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself i believe god will prosper the business i have studied the word of god i understand the dynamics i have sown a seed i have studied i have gotten mentorship now you have believed the next thing is to take action this is where the action part that we call faith comes in are you seeing now most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything number one an encounter with the word produces revelation leads to understanding understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome then you are convicted we call it persuasion you are now persuaded beyond the obstacle so i know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of god is first with the heart man believes then with the mouth confession is made are we together the bible calls it the operation in fact this is what the bible calls the spirit of faith second corinthians 4 13 give it to us please second corinthians 4 13 second corinthians 4 13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen 
write this down there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving a piece of a seed of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions. Is God helping us? The end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit God. Now listen, God, write this down. God is only committed when your obedience is perfected. God is only committed when your obedience, please, I want you to understand this God is a loving God he's a gracious God but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the Bible says that he exalts his word even above his name God only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete the Bible tells us in Habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is God helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have 200,000 you are looking for 2 million and the Holy Ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith faith is spelled r-i-s-k play it safe you will lose out in life you must be audacious not stupid audacious that's why your faith must rest upon something god said this i take him by his word if i perish i perish but i count him faithful are we together it had never happened but noah i will do it see training yourself to hear god is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life write it down growing to a point spiritually where 
to learn how to hear God is, is, is a treasure you will, you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life. Because the problem for many people is whether it is really God. The problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey. Let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly. They could not doubt that it was not God. They said that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which we have handled. Right? And Satan has done something to our generation. Satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception. There is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what God is saying. He has corrupted every avenue, every biblical avenue to hear God because Satan knows that faith comes by hearing. So he focused on corrupting dreams, corrupting visions. Are we together? So now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but Satan has now confused it. You saw 20 faces. You don't even know. There's, you, you are not. You are even afraid of the dream. We've had people who were praying and landed in Shika. There have been cases like that. People praying in tongues. You see how Satan wants to corrupt everything. Let me tell you something. Satan fears that men hear God. Because he knows that when men hear God, they can take action. And if it is God, he will commit himself. So Satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible. So because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of God. It's tied to the clarity of what you know what God is saying. If someone walks up to me now and says, Apostle, do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of God? You are out of the will of God and you have been walking in disobedience. You are about to die. Now, I'm not going to go back and say, God, please help me. Is it that I didn't hear you? The encounters that lead to this was so certain. Brothers and sisters, never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction. But I know God sent me. Do you know why many people chicken out the voice of God is not clear? Don't marry when you have not had the voice of God. Don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of God. You thought you had seven. Now when the going gets tough, you hear three. It's not clear. See, I'm saying this. Let me show us where. Because you see, in, I told us last week. I hope you know during the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. So their faith was entirely dependent on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them, go to the lost sheep of Israel. The kingdom has come. Heal the sick. Cast out them. When he was speaking, faith was planted. They believed him. Did they believe him? They were persuaded. Now he did not go with them. So you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of Jesus. They went. He sent them just like he's sending his word. So his word went with them. Don't, Jesus must appear before you obey. His word is him in your life. He said, go. Now, don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it says, is there bone in this? I say, yes. Heal the sick as you go. I tell you, this happens to me all the time. We returned from Yola. It was a mighty, from, from Mubi. It was such, such a mighty, mighty crusade. I mean, there were all kinds of miracles, miracles, miracles. It was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together God will never give you any guarantee outside of his word. Looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief. He will send you with his word. Watch this. I have money here. I like using money to teach. Come. This guy is already smiling. <laughs> Watch this. Hold this. 
what is this you can't say you don't know it what is this money 1000 naira please look up look up call this the word of god are we together now this water is 1000 naira huh are you holding 1000 naira this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's a song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this i've given him the word of god hold it this is the word of god spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of god watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her made is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him bonds did I give him um, minerals? I gave him the substance of what he's hoping for. I gave him the evidence of what he has not seen. So Paul says, now faith is the word of God. I give you the equivalent of the blessing. Here is the principle to cash it. And he said, God, I want money. And he says, you are foolish. You see how foolish a lot of people are? You will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody how am i sure or how am i not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people i have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he's saying no no he's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way 
and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be god gives you a word a jimmy i want to make you a billionaire take that word i am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your atm is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what i'm telling you so you take that word you've not been pregnant you've been trying and trying the baby has refused to come heal me he sent forth his word if i give you one thousand together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful god gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance albert einstein suffered and did something to the wall that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that albert einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of god he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of god to a material vessel you are standing and god says i'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people I look at things in my life today that God told me they will come and I watched them come today and I said Lord so your word really brought this anything the word of God cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalist fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of God if the word of God cannot give you a child I guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form hallelujah is god helping us revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you are not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when Elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately immediately he rejoiced he didn't say I will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run I'm on my way to paradise listen faith faith is God's system of rescue 
you may say i did not come from a good background listen to me you may say my father was this and that i didn't have the opportunity to be educated i didn't have the opportunity to grow up in london i came from a village faith is the victory faith is the victory we are gathered here tonight because of faith god sent a word men believed it they walked with it they mounted pressure on his integrity I'm on my way to paradise. Hallelujah. One time, we're returning from, I don't know which of the, I, I can't remember where we went now, and a lady sent me a text and said she saw, whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash. Now, it may be that that's what the devil had planned, to kill me on the road. But you see, I have an understanding that at the point of obedience God is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now I can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no 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 I will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury you will just cry for one week I know you love me but I tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues I go to heaven but I didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth Please, I want us to be honest with ourselves. This night, we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am I missing. Good master, what must I do? Good master, what must I do? Oh God of prosperity, what must I do? God of influence, what must I do? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse and wizards nonsense there is one person getting a result is God challenging us we must take responsibility over our lives over our lives over our lives and he will protect you God gave us a word we believed it there are many things that God has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then I just told him I said Lord I'm a believer you have trained me well you trained me well in the school of the spirit God trained me to believe him God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God Cause He will give up He said Listen The word of God that, Yes, the word of God Just with the word of God Yes, I will It created the heavens and the earth It can create my destiny I don't believe it Keep watching Ha! When a man has vowed to believe God, I show you a dangerous man. You stand on his way, the word will clear you as if he didn't see you. Never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to... See, let me tell you. Do you know why I preach and talk to you? I have seen what God has told me you will become. I have seen it. Not just in visions he has told me. I prayed to God one time and I said, Lord, I don't want to pastor people who are weak. I want spiritual men, but men of influence. And God told me, this is what you do. So you are sitting now. I know you are wearing a rubber shoe. Don't worry. You will see what will happen to you. I've said it prophetically. We will all be great. And the greatest part is we will all know ourselves. I said this thing when we were sitting on mat. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Great is where we 
now let me tell you you can choose to there is something called the mystery of mockery a lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying i'm a virtuous woman in the name of jesus she's reading books and you say are you this desperate for a husband the mystery of mockery see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh i don't want you to say i am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of god and you leave the word of god because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and you say look i have to be social right i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what i'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it and then they never really get any result i have not seen one person who is ashamed of god and ashamed of the things of god who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it one day god will tell you carry 80 percent of your clothes share them strategically God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your, your, your giving life, you know how a rubber ring is. You must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a tighter you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you i guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the Bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain I cannot afford to walk into a future I have not sent seeds ahead of no Are we together the word of god i believe this word and i act on it i act on it this is the word that has helped us so far when you stand before a sick body there is no guarantee you can pray in tongues and do all you need to do but at the point of obedience jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick come so this brother is sick I know he's sick we are all seeing the lump I'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but Jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say Kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what I've done I have robbed God of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time I did exactly what the word of God said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful let me tell you something about God if you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result then it has not finished keep watching hmm. there is hope for a tree even though it be cut short he said at the scent of water have you watched films actor and the boss they will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine you will think he's dead 
but from the beginning of the film a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it you know all those kind of films while they are beating him he's remembering that vision and sometimes he would die truly then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said oh come on if a ghost can appear to defend it why not die believing god it's better than living believing men who cannot help you i believe god seated in this place bless you are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed god let me tell you make no mistakes scattering this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed god by faith there are people here who were once muslims right we have some of them here by faith they believed god and his prophecy and they denied the shame some of them went through hell in their families including death threat by faith god committed himself but people sold cars and houses like idiots believing the word of god there is he that scattereth and yet increases there's a man years ago he's a pastor he gave this testimony true story he went for a convention and there was a building they wanted to roof it and they were raising funds for the roof and you know he had his own house beautiful house personal house and the holy ghost ministered to him and said son i want you to give this house to that church they will sell it and roof the house he didn't know how to tell his wife that's why i said it's good to hear god as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of God, not just intention, not just desire. The word of God. Do you know they sowed that seed? It was heavy upon them. But from that day, the Lord spoke to that man and said, you will never build a house in your lifetime again. As at the time he was speaking, I think he had at least 17 of those houses. All gifts. Somebody comes and says, God said I should give you this bungalow. Please come and look at this house if you like it. Now you like the man's story. Do you like what he did if you claim to be abraham's children you will do the works of abraham he took his only begotten son there are men who god gave them instructions all through this year from 12 o'clock till three o'clock spend time with me 12 to 3 is me and you that's hard work there are people god give instructions fast one year january 1st to december 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days i rounded up the last day with him i've never fasted 400 days in my life six to six not not six to ten six to six please i'm challenging you koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today next week i'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters i'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving praise partnership the things that help faith to stand romans chapter 4 verse 18 let's attempt to round up we are going to pray tonight this is the victory romans 4 18 believed so let's look at a few words those are the key words there against something he believed that he might become according to that which was spoken god spoke something in my life i see obstacles standing against i believe that i may become that which has been spoken say in the name of jesus say it in the name of jesus everything god declared about me i make up my mind that i will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith.
one of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service this month's miracle service is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness this food we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness this miracle service if that's the only thing we do we are going to trash it to nonsense next week we are going to announce it I don't care where the baby will grow whether it's on the leg on the head that baby must grow do you believe God you believe God for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame God but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people God has given instructions here they will never take a step there is an action you must take do you know there are times that God can give you a crazy instruction go and lock go and lock yourself in a room the action may be praise tehila praise God you know those Igbo songs those those what they call them And God can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big ah uh -uh. dance again God just say I should so because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you I want you today to learn to be a child before God sometimes the instruction God can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey God are we together I remember a woman one time she had been trusting God. I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness. She had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction. She said she should buy, she should buy children's clothes, baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church. Do you know this woman went and they said, God told her, this was what she said, that the money she would have used for her own child, this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in. She took in. In Mubi, where we went, um, they might even be following online now. The last time we went, before last week, while we went there, one particular person, he believed, you know, the wife, they'd been trusting God for a child, a lecturer there in the university there, and nothing had come. And he believed, the instruction he believed God gave him was that he should drive me. That was the instruction throughout the program. A doctor, PhD, dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place i think it was one month later his wife took him when i went i went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you i believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money. I fear God. Please don't, don't, please don't confuse this. I want you to prosper. One of the reasons why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing. It's a, you, you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. You can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying, but the money should come out of your pocket. No. So you never rise. Your spirit is charged, but you are poor. So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting. You even go by three and say, Lord, I give you one year extra prayer before they start. No. Every result, every result has the instruction that leads to it. Every result 
has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction the apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level he said he laid down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you and you can see that it is god that is leading it you know when god is leading a thing please i'm speaking to us it's time to lay your burdens down and pick something higher and start running with tangible results for some of us throughout this 2016 the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life nothing else has moved forward that's not the will of god it's the will of god that everything will move forward hallelujah our parents have disobeyed god to their peril they they never walk by faith so this car i bind that spirit i suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize God God is spirit God is spirit God gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed when was the last time if you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from God honestly honestly something is wrong with your spiritual life you should go for a retreat when God begins to give instructions Femi wake up it's two o'clock but I need to speak to you. Just spend some time. No more sleep. And you put worship song. And you are just walking around. Lord why are you waking me by two? It looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of Christ. Where God wakes people. When you say God wake me. People look at you. We wake God. You. God doesn't know who to wake. He's waking you. You see. We, we have become. Not, not koinonia now. Not koinonia. We're spiritual people. But I'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of Christ. When people say God spoke to me. Just. I beg you, God, God does, doesn't know what to speak to. What, what made us become like this? God can say stand up Femi. He may not tell you why. He's just saying pray. Just keep praying. Shakata patakata. That's all the instruction God gave. Walk around and pray. 30 minutes he has not said anything. 40 minutes he has not said anything. 50 minutes he has not said anything. One hour he has not said anything. You remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes. And you continue praying. One hour, 10 minutes you are still praying in tongues. An anointing comes on you. And he says, speak your Bible. And you begin to write. I will make you exceedingly great. God is a master of speaking to people in the night. Ask anybody that knows God. The night time is when his voice is, is, is clear. All the people who don't have faith are sleeping. God is speaking to you. I will make you exceedingly great. He will use a scripture. As I was with Moses. So I will be with you, Jimmy. Ah, you wake up in the morning with that word. Guys, the Lord has spoken to us. He said he will be with us in Koinonia. Ah! Oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that God has given me 
I have a very deep covenant with God. I have a very, I respect the speakings of God. There are things God has told me. I look forward to my birthdays. I look forward to the end of the year. When we finish Koinonia now, while I start my retreat, I look forward to hearing what God says. You see, let me tell you, one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with God. God, Jesus, we are one with him, but he's not our mate. All this nonsense that is a God, if you want to touch me, talk to me anytime. You need to create a time. I'm busy looking for money, looking for fame, looking for wife and husband, and we never hear him. One word from God will give you what you are fasting for for 100 years. Listen, brothers and sisters, where you are in life, somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody it didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together i'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here that's the day our eyes will open what of you is a me too my eyes will open that's why they were friends two blind men if two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings you should make friends with good people don't make friends with people who choke your faith you want to take a step of faith you carry the ten thousand naira. they just hold you and say sorry yo. it's not like i'm saying you should not give but you too be wise i just say talk it's true oh god you see that's not a good friend that's a nice friend but it's not a good friend and when jesus departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david they interceded for one another have mercy on us we have discussed this thing we are determined as friends to be free next verse and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him. Do you know it's interesting how Jesus acts? Sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you. Full of grace and truth. The fountain of love. Having two blind men call on him. And he just walks away and leaves them. And gets into a room and watches their faith. They try to stagger their way into the room. And he says you are qualified for a miracle. Then you sit down in your home and think that God will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we Christians are we Christians I hope you know that this is this is Jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the Bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind men would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the Messiah and they would will he change him just like many people get angry with God. He is still king of kings. The heavens are worshipping him. You are there in hell. And so you have to follow him through. This one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated. If you will follow him, go all the way. Then he says, the blind man came to him and Jesus said to them, listen. Believe ye that I am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this and this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed 
while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and a harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when god is supervising the law himself we're going to pray we must stop here tonight but i want to challenge your faith hear me people of god if it will ever change in your life it's not all up to god sisters hear me we have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or favor somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hate you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith i am where i am today by the grace of god but it is through faith by grace through faith you will prosper by grace through faith you will walk in the anointing by grace through faith it will never be outside of it you will rise by grace through faith rise up on your feet hold your hands everybody let's pray in tongues we will rise in your name hold your hands together just reach out to somebody sing it from your heart you reign zakata kata parata kata kalabarato ko subataya nende pres kataria taka fashana malada balaka side baha sada baraha tashi malakata embro katos ke barata kapa beteketele makata Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. The Bible says, And what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. There is a difference between receiving and having. Receiving is of the Spirit. Having talks of its manifestation. I want you to pray. Listen. Listen. Through faith, the Bible says, through faith, men subdued kingdoms. Are we together? The key to deliverance is declare thou that ye might be justified. You are going to open your mouth and command forces that are stopping you from stepping into the next level of your life to bow. The key, your point of action is your speaking to the mountain. I'd like you to pray. God is changing people's stories.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we're rounding up, but we're still going to pray this point. I can tell you this. The instructions of God is his leading to the next dimension of your life. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. That is why I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord can lead you. There are, there are ladies who have been cheaply led to their husbands by the Spirit of God. Come and walk in the welfare department. Come and serve in ushering. It, it's an instruction. For others, it's something voluntary for you. It may be an instruction. Pray every day one hour for one month. That is the instruction. Listen. You must receive grace to take instructions serious. Not just careless fabricated instructions out of your lust. Instructions that are genuinely either from the written word of God or from the revealed word through his voice to you. We are going to pray one more time. Lord, any instruction I've neglected that has tied me down. Don't think demons. It's not just demons. Disobedience to instructions. It individually lift your voice and pray for grace 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 to instructions to the latter to flesh hallelujah 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 when koinonia started the lord spoke to me and said son for this season i want to increase you and increase the ministry and this will happen through the teachings it says do not sell any koinonia material that's what the lord told me he said don't sell anything let all the messages be free at that time ejimi you will testify they had not even started all these uploading messages it was a stupid instruction it was a crazy one ministries depend on the media ministry to raise a lot of funds for ministry activities you will not preach messages as powerful as this and upload them for free but if god said it we will obey and out of that foolish instruction god has used it today to build a name for himself these teachings have gone to cities and countries and places 70 percent of the people who have been blessed through my life and this ministry do not know me they meet me as airports at restaurants everywhere and they are happy I was in Abuja a few days ago and someone just met me there and looked at me and said this is Apostle Joshua Selman I said where do you know me I mean I just went to get something so embarrassing he said I've never seen you I've only seen you in my dream and I've seen your faces on posters I'm so happy you know this and that he was greeting trying to sow a seed and I said my God the foolishness of instructions hey Jimmy sow the best tie you have as a seed buy Shade's child a little trouser oh god why do i need to buy i'm too big for that it's an instruction we must get to a point in our lives where we don't let pride cheat us lock your door every day for one hour dance before god before you sleep oh lord i'm not a dancer it doesn't matter it's an instruction praise warfare you may not be a musician but you need to start engaging this thing God can tell you as a husband get up by three every day for four days lay hands on your wife and children it looks stupid just obey him there is no man that obeys God sometimes we give corporate instructions here fast some of us don't fast you don't care pray are you seeing that little disobedience one more time we're going to pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience lift your voice and pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience thorough, prompt obedience thorough prompt obedience hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please write this down this is your assignment for this week everybody has an assignment for this week write it down your assignment for this week is to write down five areas where you desire breakthrough and triumph 
and find out your part of the deal what god has said concerning that issue and what you must do for a breakthrough write it down i hope you understand it the assignment is that number one you write five areas in your life maybe prosperity healing the anointing whatever just five areas in your life where you know that you are you are truly trusting god for breakthrough you want to see results you want to see notable advancement in other words nothing has been working there or nothing serious has been working there when you've written that you are going to go on a wild search relevant materials go on youtube search koinonia messages they are free get strategic messages go online get your bible if it is finances you can dedicate tomorrow tomorrow is saturday you can dedicate tomorrow and sunday to study finances monday to study maybe on character whatever it is just make sure between now and friday i know some of you will not do it and that's the disobedience we are talking about that lands us in hot water be childlike and do it this is for your good instructions in righteousness come to build us up don't say i am too big be childlike and even me as i'm telling you this this is not an instruction from joshua selman to us it's an instruction from god to all of us myself inclusive are we together find out what the bible has to say about those areas of concern and you must find out your role that's where you know revelation is perfected when you find what you have to do and then pray it pray it with all your heart until you get a rema from god on what to do some of you will return on friday with strange testimonies you'll be surprised faith works bishop oyedeko has shouted it for years faith works are we together are we together please there is grace for you to do this it is for your own good there is grace for you to do this many of you will be surprised to see the things you will discover this week as you study the word a scripture you had been looking at every day all of a sudden light will flash from it and your spirit will be on fire and before you know it you will just rise above something that was tying down your destiny praise the lord hallelujah lift up your hands everyone In the name that is above all names the grace to walk by faith the grace to believe the word of god the grace to take heed to the instructions of god may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon your life in the name of jesus beginning from today I release grace on you that in spite of the mountains that stand before you against all hope receive grace to believe in hope that you no longer will be scared by the magnitude of the mountains that stand before you but that you will receive grace to go back stare them at the face and conquer them in the name of Jesus I challenge every mountain standing before anyone here under the sound of my voice in the name that is above all names by the corporate faith that is in this house we command mountains to fall right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ lift your hands and give Jesus praise we believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International replicating the fullness of God's life on earth.